and welcome to the 12th episode of CSPN. This is my new partner, Tony. Hello. And he'll be joining us from now on. We have a lot in store for you today, including a big project that I've been working on for two months. Let's go ahead and dive into CSPN. All right, so first thing I wanted to talk about on this episode is Operation End War 6. That is pretty much right around the corner. It's only two months away, so be sure to register as soon as possible. Anyways, we just came online with the Ambassador Program, which, if you haven't heard of it, is you are given a code after registering if you sign up to be an ambassador, and you give that code to your friends, and while they are registering, they input that code, and if you're able to get 10 friends to input your code, you're gonna be able to play Operation and more for free. If you get 20 friends to put in your code, you're gonna get given a free Takamo Storm. So be sure to try to get 20 friends out. Also, I've been, I've been given a, a few questions about sidearms, and one in particular that I've, been get, that I've gotten a few times is whether or not you can use a gas blowback airsoft pistol as a sidearm. And originally I said no. However, there do exist six millimeter paintball rounds for an airsoft pistol. And we completely would allow that. So you can use an airsoft blowback pistol as long as you're using the paintball rounds inside of it. That is not to say that you can use a gas blowback rifle or any type of airsoft rifle on the field, only the sidearms, because we would like to be able to give people a sidearm if they already have one for themselves. So if you have an airsoft pistol, bring it out. The next thing I would like to talk about is a new Nerf gun that has been taking the internet by storm. I'm talking about the Nerf Rival. And to start off, this gun looks freaking badass. It looks almost like a mag-fed paintball gun in a way. If it was like a P90 conversion kit or something, like I've seen some people do with their Zeta Max. Anyways, this gun is boasting being able to shoot at 70 miles per hour, which is about a third of the speed that a paintball gun puts out as rounds. However, I do think this would be pretty badass for anybody who's into paintballing just to ambush their friends with when they come in the door or whatever. So I'm probably going to end up buying one and there are some pretty cool test videos like this one. Now I think that's pretty impressive for a Nerf gun. Let me know what you guys think about it. Now, the next thing I would like to bring up is the focus of this episode. It is the new 468 gun builder and it is the big project that I've been working on for over two months now. I'd like to show you guys how it works. All right, so the reason that we even made a new gun builder is the fact that although it was functional, it wasn't very free like you couldn't really build the exact marker that you wanted things were in fixed locations and there wasn't that big of a selection and it really didn't feel like you were building your own marker you were just clicking links so we tried our best to fix that with this one so i'm going to go ahead and build two different markers and i'll show you how it's different so let's start with the lower receiver so upon clicking it you have to click it once more and then drag it into the location and you'll see that it has turned green and that means that you're ready to drop it. And then we go ahead and choose the upper receiver by clicking it. And we're gonna go ahead and choose just the standard semi-automatic upper receiver. You just drag it into the place and it turns green and you're ready to go. Magazine, obviously the Helix mag. Now as you can see, I kinda tried to order it in a way that made sense that you would actually build your marker. I thought that the order right here made sense, at least in my opinion. So we're going to go with kind of a, a green theme here. I'm just going to build like a standard carbine. Go ahead and go with the uh, Magpul handguard. And if you can tell, it kind of feels like, in a way, you're building your own marker. Like you're dragging everything into its place and dropping it. Alrighty, 
So let's go ahead and choose the risers. I'm gonna go ahead and go with this guy. On to optics. Let's go with the SOCOM 1x30 red dot. And you can tell which area you're gonna snap it to based upon the green line. All right. And I'll, this is a railless handguard and usually that would mean if it had rails that you could attach the side rail and a bottom rail, but obviously since we don't, we cannot. If you want to, you can go ahead and add a rear sight for functionality. Obviously that doesn't look that great, but just for functionality. Alrighty. And right there, I have built myself a 468 that I would like to own. All right, let's go ahead and see how close we can build ourselves a DMR. Just like that, we've made ourselves a DMR. All right, now while the gun builder currently is fully functional, it will not be online for a little bit longer because we still are beta testing it, but expect to see it online relatively soon. All right, so let's move on to the last segment of our episode today, which is Marker of the Week. All right, so this week's Marker of the Week goes to Steven Gallagher with the sexy Milsig M17 SMG. So I'm a big supporter of the saying, functionality over form, and that's precisely why I chose this marker right here. It looks very clean, and all he's really modified on it is a slightly modified MP5 handguard, and he's put an EOTech side on there. And if he felt like it, he can modify it even further, but I appreciate its clean look, and that's why Steven Gallagher has won this week's Marker of the Week. If you want your marker to be next CSPN's Marker of the Week, just email me at dakotarap4.com with your marker and everything you have on it and I'll be sure to look at it and if I think it wins, I will message you either on your email or on your Facebook and we'll get it all sorted out. All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of CSPN and we'll see you next time. Thank you.